this final NFL predictions and Super Bowl picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. Bet hundred dollars at WinBet and get a hundred dollar free bet. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash WinBet to claim your free bet today. We're also brought to you by SGPN Fantasy. Dominate your draft with the free SGPN Draft Kit. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast dot com slash Draft Kit. And the free roll football contest is back and better than ever. Five thousand dollars up for grabs in our NFL contest and fifteen hundred bucks in our brand new college football contest. Sign up exclusively in our Discord, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. Hey, what's up, you degenerate gamblers? This is Bill Burr, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, baby. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean second, the money green with my partner of picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog NFL is here. Sean, this is officially the end of preview season. <laughs> Sean uh, at this time next week. Yeah. We will be in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, oh taking God. in a football game. With tons of tickets in our pockets. Oh yeah, feeling good. The countdown is on, and yes, next week we will be doing live shows from the beautiful Wind Studio in Las Vegas. Uh, Tuesday we will be doing our college Whoa. football pick show. Wednesday NFL pick show, and then uh, some bonus prop and uh, shows on Thursday and Friday. Some very surprises there, and then uh, you know pregame shows. Uh, stay tuned. Might just be Discord only. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. Get in over there. Hashtag Let's go. This one, this year's for us. This year's for us. Do you us. know how much of a pain in the ass a pregame <laughs> show is in Las Vegas <laughs> while you're trying to get relaxed for the game? So sorry, not sorry. No, no apologies. We are cranking out a ton of content. Uh, this episode, we are going to uh, walk through all our awards, MVP, defensive, offensive player of the year stuff we've given out a little bit uh, over. A little bit. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just saying we've already kind of released some of these, and then we're going to walk. I dare through. you to find a fuck up. Excuse me. I dare you to find a podcast that has analyzed more betting markets, <laughs> has given out more picks, and specifically has been giving out more EV, Sean. Plus the, EV the podcast su- only the summer of EV and so a shout out to Brandon Nash who said he's uh, he's gotten down the Texans to win the division. Hello. We might bankrupt some uh, sports books when the uh, Texans end up pulling that out. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> and, and go back and catch up on the team previews Labor Day weekend, perfect time. sportsgamblingpodcastcom slash NFL previews. Get in our Discord again. Five thousand dollars up for grabs in the NFL contest and a two night stay at the win. Fifteen hundred dollars. For the college football uh, preview, or sorry, college football contest as well. Let's get it going, Kramer. Let's go. And all the content, all brought to you by sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. That's right, bet big, win bigger thanks to win bet. First off, get your $100 free bet. All you got to do is bet $100. Yes, sir. So many uh, coach of the year, MVP, defensive player of the year. We're going to get down on all those uh, win totals. They got it all. Conference, championship, Super Bowl. Can't wait to sing the Super Bowl song, but we have the entire NFL season between now and then. College football. Check out the College Football Picks podcast. So much content, so much gambling action. Football is here. Let's go, baby. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash W Y N N B E T. And of course, who could forget the first quarterback to throw for five touchdowns, get that over on win bet big win bigger offer subject to change terms and conditions at winbet.com. must be 21 or older in present the state or play through win available. You or someone, you know, as a game on problem, call one 800 42 4700. 
Also brought to you by Odds Trader, your one stop shop when it comes to gambling information, stats, injury reports, projected game day weather. They got a bet tracker, uh, great for shopping live lines, a little bit of everything over on Odds Trader, including handicap and free picks. They got you covered. OddsTrader.com slash blue wire. That's O D D S Trader.com slash blue wire. Odds Trader, the number one site for all your game day bets. All right, Kramer. Let's get it going. We're going to uh, talk um, awards and then walk through our final uh, playoff bracket for the National Football League. Before we do that, this week's edition of Real Men oh, of Dgens. Uh, late, late edition. SGPN presents Real Men of Dgens. Real Men of Dgens. We salute you. Jason Swoboda. That's right. Big fan <laughs> of the program. Sent this tweet in, and he certainly deserves it. Quote, threw my back out today, un and unable to stand or walk. I fell when trying to. So as I laid on the floor, waiting for my wife to come home, I figured, why not do a best ball draft? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Hashtag D Gens only. Jason, if you gotta keep us posted. Please follow up on the end of the season. I know an underdog. You can label the drafts. Please label this draft uh, the one I did on the floor while my back was thrown out. I really want to see how this ends up for you. I feel like that is great gambling karma. Uh, I mean, I it, it's in it's genius. It's also showing the kids of today how to deal with a little bit of adversity. Yes, uh, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I, I I probably would do the same thing, right? You're just laying on your back. Hey, why not pick up the phone? Uh, see what you got going on. And he's watching live, so uh, shout out to you, Jason. Uh, big fan of the program. Go Birds! All right, Kramer, let's do it. Let's talk uh, MVP, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, what what do you got for us? Uh, MVP. I think I started this early on, but it's Lamar, right? Lamar is a good bet at the, especially at the price, all things considered. What is, what is wins current odds with him? Uh, I think uh 20 to one. Let me double check that. Cause I feel like he was at 18 to one, 18 to one. Although I eh, feel like uh feel like 20 to one is more realistic, but I'm good with that. Okay. So you're all in on Lamar, Ryan. I, I, I mean, for the price, I, I'm, I'm not going to disagree with your take either. Yeah, no, I mean, Mahomes. I think Mahomes is kind of in an fu year. I think all the stuff about, uh, you know, Travis Kell, or sorry, not Travis Kelsey, but Ty Tyree Kill. Hey, he's not going to be the same without Tyree Kill. Uh, yeah, give me Patrick Mahomes at at not plus nine fifty. I think him and Andy Reid are going to have uh, chips on their shoulder. Andy Reid probably looking for some dip. For that chip on his shoulder, but I I think they're going to be fired up. You give Andy Reid an entire off season to yeah. draw up a game plan, and we hit on this in our fantasy football preview episode. Um, make sure you check that guy out as well. I, I think Juju's going to have a big year. I think Kelsey's going to have a big year. It's the, it's the Chiefs' offense. Like they're going to figure out how to be good. Um, yeah, give me a Mahomes all day plus nine fifty. All right, it feels really reasonable. Now, uh, what do we want to do next? Offensive rookie of the year? Yes. All right, I'm going off the reservation. Sam Howell, ninety to one. Wow. He's a quarterback. He's backing oh up Carson Wentz. You laid out the case as to why the three becomes the one when the two is always the two. Heineke is just there to be the backup. Howell showed a little bit of exciting moments in preseason. Carson Wentz is is Carson Wentz, guys. So the fact that this is ninety to one, I are any of the quarterbacks that exciting? This price is crazy. Give me Sam Howell ninety to one. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I I like it at ninety to one. Certainly, it's a very fun, uh, it's very fun one to take a long shot on. And uh, I'm I'm also in the long shot zone. Give me Malik Willis fifty to one right now over on Win Bet. He's dynamic. He can run the ball. Tannehill is on a pretty short leash. He is dynamic. He may, maybe he, uh, his path to playing, you could certainly question, but again, Sam Howell and Malik Willis are like two and three when it comes to quarterback odds. Why not take a shot on these guys, especially if the receiver market kind of gets split up a little bit. There's no obvious running back. I mean, Damian Pierce is fun, but he's 12 to one. Like I, I kind of like going long his, shot here. For his this. odds went from being like, Oh, okay. To like, Oh, what really? That's not going to work. Yeah. So 
No, I, and maybe even Kenny Pickett. Uh, but again, it depends when he gets in, and he's he's like nine to one now. So I I don't know. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent in on that one. What about you, Ryan? What do you got? Uh, let's see here. All right. Sorry, just tinkering with some uh, some buttons and knobs. All right. Uh, defensive rookie of the year, Carl Loftus, uh, twenty to one. He's gonna have tons of opportunity. Loved him in the pre-draft process. Classic falls to a good team. Uh, good situation to play next to Jones as long as he's out there. So yeah, I mean, I haven't seen a ton of heat. I know his odds have come down a little bit, but twenty to one still nice enough price for me to grab. Yeah, no, I I think he can get some sacks. That you need some counting stats. Um, there, you know, Hutchinson maybe, but certainly Price. Um, yeah, we were high pre-draft on Karloftis, so I'm going. Uh, I'm going Derek Stingley at twelve to one, defensive rookie of the year. Again, he gets a couple interceptions in that Lovey Smith defense. Again, we're high on the Texans. Why not also tag a Derek Stingley? A defensive rookie of the year there at twelve to one. That one, that one feels really fun. I mean, he certainly. People said things like uh, Jalen Ramsey. So, um, uh, what's next, Sean? Defensive player of the year. Let's we, go. We don't talk about offense. Although, yeah. if you were Saquon Barkley's a hundred to one. Have fun with that. Yeah, I don't jo- know. It's just. I feel like if it's a quarterback, it's going to end up being the same guy. But uh, who do you got for defensive player of the year? Bosa, Joey. Out here in Los Angeles, twenty to one. He's got a running mate, Khalil Mack. I mean, there's there's some stuff going on here, Mm. and the Bosa blood is as good as the Watt blood in terms of just pure raw pass rush (laughs) athlete. Uh, I love Joey Bosa as a human. I I mean, he's just hilarious. Seems like a complete doof who is made to just tackle quarterbacks. Yeah, and again. That defense is gonna be on the field a little bit. You gotta imagine he's gonna have some opportunities. So what what does it take? Lots of sacks. Let's go. Counting set. Uh, give me Max Crosby, forty to one. I, I you know him next to Chandler Jones. In in the same way, I could see their defense being uh, on the field a lot. I mean, you look at that division. Certainly, he's gonna have massive opportunities for some big time sacks against big name quarterbacks. Past couple of years, he's led the league or like right up there with him and. Uh, him and TJ Watt, as far as like QB knockdowns, QB pressures, he just hasn't quite been getting the sacks at 40 to one. Love that price. I'm all in. Let's go. All right. Coach of the year. Coach of the year. What are we doing? Right. I mean, you nailed it earlier. I, I, I missed this narrative all off season. I mean, as much as I love the guy you're going to throw out and as much as I could have said, Ooh, Brian Dable, yeah, 14 to one. If, if the season that we think is happening yes. is happening. Yes. Lovey Smith. Let's go 35 to one to win a divisions. One thing, but Lovey Smith and that gray beard, you don't think people are going to want to vote for him if he wins a division Yeah, with a team that wasn't supposed to be, sub, to be successful with a team that was tanking with a team who was rolling Davis mills out there to end his career. Cause they just wanted to get the next quarterback. There's no tank in the Texans. Pep Hamilton chip on his shoulder. Lovey Smith. Anyway, 50 to one. Yeah. Tomlin's fun at 20 That's to better one better than 35 to one as well. But yeah, I'll, I'll get, I'll let you stay on a uh, lovey Smith. Uh-huh. I know you're also on Tomlin at 20 to one. So I'll make that my official play. Um, and then maybe a small hedge on uh on Doug Peterson, because if the Jags do end up being good, him mm. at eighteen to one, I think is fun. But Tomlin, I'll make as my official play, uh, just because I, maybe I think he does get the credit if they end up pulling out the division at can ten I, to one. Can I tell you who I, my late like haven't really mentioned it one time the entire season, but the uh, as the the Cardinals have crescendoed in my projections, skyrocketing. Cliff Kingsbury twenty five to one. Oh That's sexy. God. Really, he wins that division. Hmm? <laughs> I know it doesn't match the formula and the progression stuff, but do, do, do. remember that draft swag? Dudes will vote for him. All right. What's next? Walking through it? Yeah, let's do it. Um yeah, all right. Why don't we walk announce who our playoff teams are? Because I think we're a little just to clarify, and again, you know, there's there's always gonna be a little fudging here on the numbers to make things work. Yeah, uh, basically what happened was we came up with numbers and then we sifted it through the this is who the playoffs should be. Yes. And we came out with some shit. So we'll start with the AFC. Uh I'll rattle off my uh t- my winners first and okay. my seeds, and then we'll then we'll talk about your bracket. Uh for me, uh, the one seed coming out of the north. 
uh, Lamar MVP to go with a regular season crown mm. as well. You want to crown them? Well, they're the total regular season squad. We know that. Uh, the two seed coming out of the West, the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not foolish, uh, Chiefs fans. I'm on. I'm I'm on the Chiefs this year, uh, for better <laughs> or for worse. Three seed coming out of the East is the Buffalo Bills, losing out on a tiebreaker because they lose that revenge spot to the Kansas City Chiefs in the regular season. And my four seed surprise out of the AFC South, the Houston Texans. Lovey Smith, let's fucking go. Five seed. LA Chargers, wild card out of the West. Six seed, another wild card out of the West. The Denver Broncos and beating the Raiders by a tiebreaker to get in. The Cincinnati Bengals, mm. who will take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Sean? Yep. Should we walk through it then, or should we talk about yours? Uh, yeah, why don't we do mine? We'll, right. uh, Buffalo Bills, number oh, one. Hell yeah. Wagon circling time. Yeah. Number two, I got the Ravens. Still high on the Ravens. Yeah. Um, I do think there's a chance Steelers get the division, but I, I, you know, for now I'm going Ravens number two slot. Chiefs at home number three. Texans, let's go. Now I know uh, I predicted technically the Titans to have more wins, who but cares? We're, who cares? we're we're on the Texans. Uh, Bengals five seed. Okay. Uh, Broncos six seed. Hashtag Broncos country. And then uh, Steelers sneaking in as well we, for we, the seventh. We once watched the uh, and let's. Why don't we uh, we'll, we'll walk? Why don't we walk three years first? And she just rattled it off. But we once watched the Bengals and the Texans play a pretty fun, yeah, playoff game back in the uh, day. Who advances? Cincy. I okay. mean, you know, the uh, I think Houston and Kansas, or Houston and Pittsburgh are fun stories as far as getting in. Pittsburgh. But, well, all right. So next matchup, Pittsburgh yeah, taking the two seed Ravens. Little third time, little uh, divisional matchup. I, I just think they have the experience. Playoff Ravens. Be careful. And then, oh, Denver Broncos taking on the Chiefs. Another divisional matchup in the wild card round. Does Russ? Does Russ have what it takes to take down Patrick Mahomes? Mm. It's gonna be tough. I'm going Chiefs. Let's go Chiefs. All right. So now in the what would this be? The second round, divisional yeah. round. It's gonna we be have good playoffs. A one taking on a five seed Bengals Bills. Where are you going, Sean? Mm. Oh, this is tough. Let's go, Buffalo. Bills get it done. Home I think the home uh, home edge yeah. matters, right? All right, uh, Kansas City, Baltimore. This game is played in Baltimore. Boy, th- I mean, I, I would personally, I want to see this game in the, the playoffs. Lamar, Patrick, Chiefs, uh, run comes to an end. Give me the Ravens. Jackson on the sideline yeah. doing cool shit. Uh, all right, Bills, Ravens, conference championship game in Buffalo. In Buffalo, Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills are headed to the Super wow. Bowl. Nice job, Sean. All right, my five four matchup. L.A. heads to Houston. Boy, oh boy. Ooh, L- good game. L.A. has found a way to fuck this kind of shit up before. <laughs> Is it crazy to have Houston advance to the second round of the the playoffs? I mean, it's crazy to have them win the division. But when when is uh you know why is that gonna let us stop? L- All right, Chargers advance to. Uh, it, it was a fun story, but Lovey Smith gets bounced uh, in the first round. Next up, Denver heading to Buffalo. Boy, I, I mean, it's uh, the weather shouldn't be a huge issue here, but I think Buffalo is just going to have too much, even though Brian Dable no longer there. And then the Bengals, Chiefs, Sean, they do it again. The Cincinnati Bengals upset the Kansas wow, City Chiefs. Okay. So I guess what I would have to do is a little uh, switcheroo. So now I'd have the Bengals taking on the Ravens. What are we thinking here? <laughs> Ravens, too much, too much to ask for. I like yeah. this Ravens team. Uh, next up, Chargers Bills. This one is in. I mean, how great would this be? Justin Herbert, bro, Josh bro Allen? from the West Coast, goes to Buffalo. Can Can Herbert out. get some playoff victories, Ryan? No. Buffalo <laughs> Bills win. We got a Ravens Bills conference final game. It does. It it seems just too chalky. Uh, give me the Ravens. Okay. I think Lamar is just going to be dialed in. 
Bills Bills always seem to struggle a little bit with that running game. All right, NFC. Before we get to the NFC, Ryan, I oh. uh, want to shout out promoguide.us. Again, a bunch of gamblers listening to the show, obviously. Uh, you know what? An easy way to increase your bankroll? Head over to promoguide.us. Uh, you can get the biggest bonuses from all the best sports books over there. A hundred, you know, we're talking thousand dollar risk free deposits, insane odd boosts. Most importantly, the best analytics in the business, plus tons of free picks as well. Promoguide.us is your guide to betting smart. Once again, that's promoguide.us. We're also brought to you by Sleeper. That's right, Sleeper, fastest growing fantasy platform, but also you can play their brand new over under game. It's awesome. It integrates directly to their fantasy platform as well. So next week, week one NFL, you have your fantasy matchup right there and you can select over under put in two X or so you can win two X all the way up to 20 X. The amount you put in, it is a really fun rush. They also have player props for college football. We gave out a, a college football picks one as well. And you could have copied our picks. You could have just hit copy and uh, get down on a plus 600 three team player prop parlay. Not only can you copy our picks, we can also copy yours. The the sleeper group chat is really fun. Um, highly recommend getting signed up there if you haven't already. Open up your mobile phone, head over to sleeper.com slash SGP, and sleeper will automatically match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. Promo code SGP. All you gotta do is go to sleeper.com slash SGP, get that hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Terms and conditions apply. See sleepers terms of use for details. And last but not least. Of course, run your pool. That is your the place you want to go if you want to run your pool and your pool. Yeah, that's right. You probably are the person in charge of running your pool for your office, your frat, your squad, whatever it is. You're probably in charge because you listen to the show. Run your pool is great. I mean, pick them, survivor fantasy pools, get one stop shop, fully customizable. Really, really enjoy uh, the platform. And first off, uh, step one hop into our pool. $500 cash and $250 gift certificate to the SGPN store for the winner of our NFL survivor contest. You're going to compete against us. Go head to head versus us and the rest of the SGPN crew sign up today over at play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN. That is play.runyourpool.com slash SGPN hop in over at run your pool, set up, join our pool and then start running your own pools play.runyourpool.com slash S G P N Kramer NFC. What do we got? All right. Let's just, uh, we'll start with yours and walk through it. I think that works better. Packers, your one seed. Um, look, I, it's, it's, it's chalky, but it's kind of, what just happens every year. Yeah. Uh, you go with it. Okay. Why? Wait, why? First of all, it, before the show, we were talking about this. You were we were going back and forth, and you, you backed off the Eagles. Yeah. So I need. Let's start there. Why are the Eagles not the ones? Because the well, fourteen to one. I do like it as a bet, but I'm going to make it my official prediction as the two seed. Yeah, you know, they. I, I like them better when there's a little underdog aspect to them. So uh, Packers number okay. one, <laughs> Eagles number two, you did. <laughs> Bucks number three, Super Team Assemble, Cardinals number four. Saints number five, okay. uh, Niners number six, and then Bears sneaking in uh, at number seven. I love the I, I love the Niners playoff team troll job. Beautiful. Well, group. that's because they resigned Jimmy G. So I think now that they resigned Jimmy G, I once again have them as a playoff team. All right. So we have the Saints heading to Arizona, take on the Cardinals. What are you doing? Okay. So I have the Saints. Jameis, uh, Kyler. Jameis isn't into Call of Duty. We know that. He's out on the field talking to his men. <laughs> I like the Saints. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. All right. Niners heading to Tampa. Ooh, tough to run against that Bucks defense. Bucks get it done. All right. Bears heading to Philly. How the fuck do the Bears get in the playoffs, Sean? Go Bears. Uh, that's like a bye week right there. All right, uh, chalk almost all chalk advances. Packers host the Saints. Saints get the upset. <laughs> Jameis goes to Green Bay. Oh, I want! I can't wait for this season to happen. Bucks head to Philly. Go Do Birds! We have some revenge. revenge, revenge, Ryan. I was setting it up all along. Eagles get their revenge against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to get to the NFC Championship. 
uh, tough to run against the Bucks, but all right. J- uh, Jalen must have taken that big step forward. Saints head to Philly. Boy, this sounds familiar. Your 2022 oh, NFC God. Conference champions are the new Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Let's right. go. So we have uh, you we'll look ahead to a matchup between the Eagles and the Bills. Sean's <laughs> two favorite teams. And a very predictable moment. For me, Packers as the one seed again. Um, regular season squad. They just get 13 wins. No big deal. Bucks as the two seed, Giants as the three seed, <laughs> Arizona oh, Cardinals as the four seed, Eagles as the five seed, okay, Vikings, thanks. Vikings as the six seed, Saints as the seven seed. You got the Vikings in here? I, we've talked about that offense, Sean. Yeah. I think they're gonna win some games. I have them. They're eight and nine, so they're they're a wild wild card at eight and nine. <laughs> uh, all right, starting out, Eagles heading to Arizona. I'll be at that game. Uh, that, Sean will be at that game. Tough spot for the Cardinals, but if I'm going to be high on Kyler, mm. then Kyler is going to win this game against an Eagles team that still will be limited. Vikings head to New York. Uh, ooh, some history there. But Vikings once upon a time accused the Giants of listening in on their calls. That's why they got their ass beat, forty-one to nothing. Giants aren't losing to Kirk Cousins in some form of prime time. Ooh, Brian Dayball, the legend grows. Let's fucking go. Saints head to Tampa Bay, where, boy, Sean, do the Saints have a number of the Bucks? Mm. I know they got them last year, but do I want Jameis to take down Tom Brady for his final game ever? Absolutely. That's a great trivia question. Saints advance. Uh, oh, I mean, this is, I, I got to figure this out. This is a mess. So the saints are up here. The <laughs> giants are here. Uh, I wish people could, I wish we had a live look at the spreadsheet. Uh, well, Ryan, can well, you put it up on the TV? Uh, or is that too crazy? It probably won't come. It probably won't. Uh, <laughs> it probably won't uh, show up on the screen. Don't worry. Have to know All right. when to call. Oh fuck. I fucked it up again. All right. So, oh, this is beautiful. The giants are going to take on Kyler Murray. <laughs> In Arizona, a lot of fans will be out there. The Saints will be heading to Packers. All right, so Jameis up in Green Bay. I will, uh, as fun as that would be, I'm going to take the Packers here. Not going for the same upset as you. Giants, Cardinals, end of the road. Kyler makes it to the conference championship okay. game against Green Bay and the Packers. You know, Aaron Rodgers has been winning personal awards, but this year's all about the team. Aaron Rodgers in Lambeau, too much for Kyler. The cheerleader comes out. Ooh. Green Bay. Wow. So you think regular Baltimore. season Rodgers gets it done in the postseason? Uh, it's, I mean, if we're talking about a guy in FU, two guys in FU mode, do I want to see Aaron Rodgers and Lamar Jackson meet at the end? Sure. I like that. I like that version of the season. Sean, all right. Packers, Ravens for me, Bills, Eagles for you. You want to go first? People are really dying to know who you have here. For those who don't know, if Sean had to pick another team to be his team, it would be the Buffalo Bills. Uh, give me the Philadelphia Eagles, right? I tried not to take it, but I, I know. Let's go. All right. I didn't take him last year. Eagles win the Super Bowl. Who is my Super Bowl? Do you have that easily accessible? What do you mean? Do I have? Of course. Because I probably I had the Bills making the Super Bowl last year, but they're a good team. I, you know, we, it might've been a little bit more skewed towards the, uh, the Russ. All right. So you had, you had bills beating the Seahawks last okay. year. I mean, Russell Wilson injury really derailed everything. For I had team. bills Packers last year. Yeah. Neither so, of us did great. All right. Ray, Ravens Packers. Come on. Harbaugh's get, Harbaugh needs a championship. I, I don't, I don't, Lamar I yeah. gets it done. Let's go. I don't mind that one at all. I just think the bills are due. Do to get, do to get taken down by the Philadelphia Eagles. I do think there was a sign when we saw Berman <laughs> and Belichick uh, interact, and it was caught on video. That's like Bigfoot. That's got to be a positive sign for the Buffalo Bills. Yes. All right, Ryan. We've we've put out so much content, so much action. Hey, check out the uh, 2020 fantasy football preview. Check out all 32 of our NFL previews. SportsGamblingPodcast.com. Slash NFL previews. Sean, I, I don't mean to stop you, but I think the DJs are wagering merch store yes. gift cards in the chat. So sh- shout out to the chat. That's amazing. Yeah, I I was the one who uh, helped instigate <laughs> okay. that in the chat. 
Because they're going back and forth. What are we gonna bet? Hey, why not bet an SGPN gift card? I mean, that is true. We gotta Hashtag figure out. Only. We need to figure out that economy <laughs> in Discord for guys to wager. Yeah, sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Discord. Hop in there. Talk about all this college football we got this weekend. NFL right around the corner. And of course, click the contest tab um, in the announcement section there. Enter for the college football uh, contest $1,500. NFL contest $5,000 up for grabs. Uh, NFL Survivor, 500 bucks up for grabs there. Ryan, what else do we got episode wise before we start <laughs> our official football preview week? Uh, I've heard we might get into a little best ball. Okay. Uh, we can squeeze one more best ball. Maybe we do a Sunday night best ball, a little, little Sunday night hang. And then, yeah, right into it. DF, I mean, it's it. we're into regularly scheduled program. You have less than a week to consume 32 team previews. Don't worry. We kept them short. <laughs> They're all under an hour. Yes. We have eight divisional previews that you have to listen to between now and the start of the season. You got your work cut out for you. So Labor and Day would, weekend, I you're would, traveling. I'd probably prioritize the college previews since those games are going on right now. <laughs> but I mean, I, I 40 episodes, they're all under an hour. Yep. So figure that's the 40, better part of two days, 40 Ex hours in a labor day weekend. No, put it up to like one and a half speed. You can plow through those guys. That's, I was about to explain an easy <laughs> way to chop off some of the time. Exactly. All right. Hey, uh, thank you guys again so much for subscribing. Mm. Football season is coming. Appreciate we're being thankful. No, no, seriously. I mean, we're the downloads are through the roof for every day where the, this past week almost has been a new all time record for downloads. And it's, it's thanks to you guys. Uh, not only downloading, supporting SGPN, supporting us by getting merch, spreading the word. Nope. Um, that is huge. That's, you know, you can support corporate gambling or you can support the yep. SGPN rocket ship. Uh, Thank you for participating in the sports gambling podcast. I, yeah, I dare you to support big gambling. <laughs> for the sports gambling podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green. He's Ryan. NFL is less than six days away, Sean. Kramer, let it ride. 